we will be examining in detail kind of the mathematical consequences of two of the assumptions we need to look at flow through a nozzle. The first assumption that we're going to look at is that we approximate everything as being the flow is all in the x direction. What do we mean by that? I mean, I have some nozzle here. The nozzle has a circular cross-section that changes as I move along in the x direction. And there are many, many quantities that will change in the flow of the gas as I go along this x direction. So if I look at a slice in the nozzle at a given x, there are several quantities that I'm going to be looking at. There is a, which is a fu function of x, this is the cross-sectional area. There is P, capital P, as a function of X. This is the pressure in the exhaust gas. There is rho, lowercase rho, as a function of X. This is the density of the exhaust gas. There is U, as a function of X. This is the velocity, the local velocity with respect to the uh, exhaust uh, nozzle um, in the x direction. And finally, there is T as a function of x, which is the temperature. Temperature. All right. So the next assumption that we'll, we'll be looking at is the assumption of constant flow rate. Okay, so this is constant mass flow rate. The mass flow rate is how much mass is moving through any given cross section of the nozzle at any time. So it, the mass flow rate should be a function of x, but we're going to say that it is constant throughout the entire nozzle. Hopefully that makes sense because any mass that comes in has to go out in a steady state functioning of this system. To do that, what we're going to do is we're going to look maybe at this cross section right here. So I'm going to take this cross section, I'm going to redraw it, but then I'm going to give it some thickness. I'm going to call this thickness here dx, and I'm going to say that this has cross sectional area A, and I'm going to say that it is filled with an exhaust gas at some density rho. Now we know what we want. We want the mass flow rate, which is by definition the change in mass over the change in time, to be constant. And so what I'm going to look at is this, this infinitesimal portion of mass in this thin slice of exhaust gas that I have. Now I know that when I have density, what I can do is I can write this as density times that infinitesimal volume. And the volume of a cylinder is the area of a cylinder times the height, dx, of that cylinder. When I then plug this formula into that expression for mass flow rate, I get rho A dx over dt. Or if I associate dx dt, that is the change in position and change in time, that's the x component of the velocity. And so this mass flow rate then, m dot, is equal to rho A u, which is itself some constant k. And so this is the mathematical consequence of having a uniform mass flow rate through the entire nozzle.